severe air turbulence. All right, Brutus got a hold of this one. All right, so obviously I'd have to remake this one if I were to do keep an accurate experiment. And I also want you to calculate the speed. So, so I want you to figure out how what the speed is of each of these planes. So how fast how fast the airplane travels speed. And it's measured. Hello? The distance traveled. Alright, and that's gonna be in using the metric system, we're gonna use meters. Over time. Time <coughs> is gonna be in seconds. So distance over time. So if you think of, uh, you get on Highway 280 and you see the speed limit signs is 65 miles per hour, 65 mph, miles, miles is the distance. All right, uh, hours then is the time. So that's what speed is. So you can do this with your airplanes. So for example, if I throw the first one, I measure, once it lands, I'm gonna measure how far it went. All right, from your position where you're standing, and uh, create a line, like a start, start and finish. And then where it stops, the nose. So where the nose is, you measure in meters. Okay. And how long it took to go that far. So you time it. Two things you need to get the speed. You need to get the distance it traveled, and you need to get the time. So once you have that, you can get the speed. And we're gonna see which paper airplanes are the fastest, and which ones are the slowest, and then what engineering design are the best and which ones are not as, as good. And then we're going to change the design. And this is what it's all about. Once you have the speed, you're going to graph the different speeds of the different planes. So we'll graph the speed, and then uh, look at the data, analyze it, and then come up with a conclusion on which planes, which design was the fastest, and which one traveled the furthest. So, because it went the furthest doesn't necessarily mean it went the fastest. So you might have one plane design that had the longest distance, but maybe it was going slow. And one plane that crashed and burned, maybe it went like two meters, but went very fast. You're going to graph the results, and after the graph, you're going to create a sales pitch on your best Hello. design. 